We are ready to start this match. Space Explorers between the lines. Three, two, one, go! And as our match begins, we've got movement from all of our robots, which is always a great thing to see. Lynn Bloom Electric Eagles initially with some trouble getting off of their platform, but they're able to break free and cross that ab zone line before the end of our sandstorm period. Here in our teleoperated period, one of our first robots to score is Magnatech on the Blue Alliance. They're able to put a cargo pod behind a null hatch panel on the cargo ship. And we're just barely getting started in our match, and we're already seeing some defense from EMP. We also are hearing a loud hissing noise coming from their robot. It sounds like they may have had their pneumatic system depressurized, meaning their manipulators may not work the rest of the match. We'll have to see if this changes EMP and what they're able to do here at the T minus 95 second mark. Our Red Alliance with a slight four point lead. The Red Alliance hoping to maintain that lead and they've got Bionic Bombers and Lindblom Electric Eagles working together to score to make that possible. Right now our Red Alliance with six cargo pods inside their cargo ship earning three points a piece for those. They're only gonna be able to put two more in and there are those two. This does mean now, though, that our Red Alliance cargo ship is fully loaded. Any additional points by our Red Alliance will need to come from placing hatch panels onto either Red Alliance rocket or placing cargo on board as well. Control Z struggling to score thanks to the defense of EMP. They had a cargo pod in their possession, but they had to drop it. And they now are struggling to get past back to their loading zone. EMP with some very effective defense that's helping the Red Alliance keep their lead. T minus 30 seconds and we are seeing Electric Eagles making very easy work of getting up on level three. That'll be 12 points for your Red Alliance. Over on blue, Channel Cats already parked on level one and Control Z preparing to head up to level three themselves. They've lifted themselves up and are inching themselves forward. Seven seconds to go. They're part way there. Can they make it? Three, two, one. They can. And we've got your final scores. Your Red Alliance is victorious. Demonstrating fantastic teamwork throughout, your Red Alliance takes home the win 63 to 57.